Alright, nice time. <laughs> Looks like here is a sleeping place of uh, deers of boars or boars with some protection. Nice. So I made the rest place hummock in a snowing forest. Pretty funny. Let's see what will be. <laughs> Have salad some something sweet and of course tea in my backpack everything prepared for a nice time <laughs> that's funny the time is uh, kind of near sunset but the colors are already super beautiful goldens Just went from there. I uh, have no idea what is my current position. It basically looks like the place I was uh, about one year ago, but not sure this one could be for war could be for food uh, for um, wood supplies I'm not sure yeah but walking in forest there's something and a very important thing about walking in a forest that uh, basically um, on wind here, I'm feeling super light and just enjoying the silence, nature, like nothing is bothering me. It just feels like the place is mine and that's it. Very nice. Like everything what was bothering me is just became like really calm and my spirit just increased in a place like that so pretty sure that one of my future living places will be somewhere near magic forest where I can walk and just Enjoy the moment. Magic Arc.
very nice feeling when you walk in alone <laughs> just the clean snow only me um great just feeling great like your investigator of some kind of forest the most funniest thing that i did now till now uh, like nine kilometers but it's uh 2.3 hours of uh, walking maybe with a 20 minute break uh, which is great and uh, have a choice like to walk further but i think after sunset that's uh, not really interesting in a even winter forest so basically everything is plus minus the same it's a little bit cold it's a little bit um, danger so so we continue just want to show you this beautiful pass like in movies very nice Yeah, so the thing is, <laughs> snow falling. The thing is, it's a very beautiful walk. I'm just uh, very happy that I did it because uh, for the long time I was not uh, walking in forest when it's winter. And in my opinion, one of the best places here in Gdansk is uh, Vehirovo because not a lot of people very interesting forest it's dynamic, it's changing and um, I know like I'm here feeling more calm and spiritual uh, compared to <laughs> other places and I, I'm sure that if, uh, walk here many many times you still will find something new like uh, found in a mine uh, spiritual place uh, in Ukraine so <clears throat> well <laughs> so that's very nice that's very nice um, wee -ha. Wee -ha. now we have a big open ground very beautiful, very nice. So the journey today was uh, very, very interesting. And I was uh, listening to Jim Rohn and interesting ideas about moving yourself forward. One of the best I think is just teaching yourself always and just uh, working on your goals and third maybe uh, put uh, on goals uh, means like um, you just uh, have to balance yourself right the second uh, is uh, balance your resources so invest something look for opportunities because if your money work or you are trying to uh, increase your future income uh, that will be great it's pretty tough but on the last year i did pretty good job in uh, this direction so next year i think should be more interesting uh, now the third is uh, people who is uh, you whom you are listening to who is around you and for me in a 21th century because basically John Ron died I think in a 2006 or 2009 so in the start of the 20s uh, very important just to listen to the right people and now 
also you can talk in a chat GPT to any person you want. A chat GPT will represent this person. So in my opinion, it's a great instrument and great friends uh, to talk about. It's super. So a small debrief about walking in the forest. And just uh, get to the place. <laughs> <laughs> One year ago, I started. Um, I was considering that this is not the start of the Gdynia, but uh, um, it's three hours <laughs> walking through the forest to this place. And even if I wouldn't be stopping anywhere, I think it can't be possible in this weather in uh, faster than in two hours except of course for running, but still running in this weather, maybe 1.5, that's it, for um, 11 kilometers. And with the average walking speed, five kilometers, and in this weather should be four, maybe 3.5. The speed is pretty good. So, uh, good job. <laughs> and did it so with the four it's uh, 2.5 yeah 2.5 it's normal time so basically i did all my best and uh, there is the entrance yeah just behind me right there so the first video i think i published on uh, my youtube channel uh ever some adventures and that's pretty funny that's very nice. Now I think uh, everything is great and uh, I will consider maybe walking near the sea because I still have uh, stamina. Um, I will have a short rest in the train. I have enough tea and uh, in uh, that walk there won't be any problem with logistics, so anytime I'm tired, I can sit on SKM and go back home. So basically what I do, I'm buy, I will buy the SKM ticket from here to Gdansk Oliva, where I live in, and then consider what I walk. I think I will uh, uh, take off uh, from the train in uh, Gdynia, uh, something like Shudmish, uh, no, not sure, like center uh, center town, not sure uh, what it <coughs> will be uh, a real name and after that walk to the beach and start basically my journey or maybe from Dynia Gwovna, but uh, Dynia main uh, train station, but there is uh, uh, walking, I think about one or two kilometers extra. So I knew the walking distance from my home to Gdynia, uh, main station, 11 kilometers. So hope if I cut one kilometer will be great. And the distance will be uh, about uh, two, uh, about uh, 10 kilometers, maybe less. So in total, I will do something like 21, maybe 24 kilometers, which is great uh, for the weekend. And estimate time should be for five, six, seven, until eight o'clock I will came back home, which is perfect. So we'll see what will be. Uh, thank you for this uh, short journey with me in the forest. Uh, I think it was uh, really um, charging and nice uh, and I love uh, the winter time and enjoy this weather very much. Now it's uh, only minus seven which is super comfortable here. So I think you won't see me but I'm near the sea. It's a minus seven. Yeah. 